few years ago, Carlos Fernandez came to Perk to participate in our Envirepreneur Institute. He had a big, bold vision to preserve a vast portion of Patagonia through property rights, contracts, and markets. Today, this vision is becoming a reality with the help of three organizations, The Nature Conservancy, Patagonia Clothing Company, and Ovis 21. I'm Laura Huggins, I'm Director of Outreach here at Perk. I recently returned from Patagonia where I had the chance to fish, climb, recreate, but also was lucky enough to have the chance to work for the Nature Conservancy Patagonia office where they're working on grasslands preservation. Sheep were introduced to Patagonia in the early 1900s by European settlers. They are raised primarily for their wool, which is some of the finest merino in the world. This wool is then sold to international markets and plays a large role in the local economy. A flock of sheep can gobble up a lot of grass, about three pounds a day per sheep. Overgrazing has already helped turn about 30% of the grasslands in southern Argentina into desert. It's a huge project, but I learned that grasslands are important for soil conservation, water filtration, flood control, habitat for fish and wildlife, carbon sequestration, and last but not least, grasslands are crucial to the local economy. So the majority of the land is privately owned and in order to convince private landowners to incorporate more sustainable management practices, we really saw the need to incorporate market forces. Companies that have environmental components in their business plans, such as Patagonia Clothing Company, want to promote both environmental quality and create goods from natural products, including merino wool which means they would like to see the grasslands flourish for the long term. And tourists like me, who want to fish and recreate in Patagonia, would be willing to pay a price premium for this outcome. Basically what uh, I'm doing here is uh, trying to promote uh, the structure and condition of ecosystem uh, without dropping the main uh, uh, land use, which is ranching, in order to ensure that key uh, conservation values are maintained for now and for always. We have a uh, market-driven approach by having Patagonia Inc. purchase the wool um, with incentives to landowners. Because most landowners face ongoing political and economic challenges that affect their ability to stay in business, such as very high taxes on farm products, an incentive was needed to gain commitment from landowners to manage their resources sustainably. In this case, the carrot comes in the form of a reimbursement grant to ranchers for grazing less sheep or for using more modern, environmental-friendly grazing practices. With their partners, the Nature Conservancy is working to halt the desertification of grasslands while improving the livelihoods that depend on them, and at the same time, open the door to other envirepreneurs around the world who are hoping to improve environmental quality through private initiative.